Good morning, everybody. Happy Coffee Talk Tuesday. This is going to go live on Instagram now. Okay. I don't know why I'm not going live. Come on. Hold on a second. Sorry about this, everybody. Uh... Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, happy Coffee Talk Tuesday, you guys. And make sure we are live on Facebook as, as well. Welcome to Coffee Talk Tuesday. Today we're gonna to talk about LinkedIn because we had a viewer, that doesn't help. Today, uh, we're gonna talk about LinkedIn because we had a viewer, Allie Hulse, who asked me last week to talk about LinkedIn. She said, we never talk about LinkedIn. And um, she's a young person just graduated from college and will be looking for a job. And she wants to know how to use LinkedIn to get a job. So that's what we're gonna to do today. And uh, you know, there's a lot of college grads uh, who are looking for jobs right now. It's a tough economy, right? All right, so um, what we're really gonna talk about first is we're gonna talk about your profile because that's super important as part of finding a job on LinkedIn. So there are 133 million users in the US alone on LinkedIn. It reaches 200 countries around the world. Uh, thanks for joining, good morning. Um, one survey found that 87% of recruiters use LinkedIn as part of their candidate search. 87% of recruiters. Uh, I can tell you right now that when we're looking to hire someone, I absolutely go to their LinkedIn profile. Usually it's on their resume anyway, but we absolutely go to the LinkedIn profile and we check it out. Um, so we're gonna talk about your profile and what is really important to be on your profile, okay? First of all, it's super important that your profile is up to date. So make sure you're going on LinkedIn. You don't have to be the um, the gold member or pay for your membership, although you get a lot more if you can. Good morning. Um, but um, you know you, you need to be on there, okay? So you need to be comprehensive about your skills and your objectives, and you need to highlight your recent experience. So I'm gonna give you guys tips for your uh, profile because this is really what is going to be looked at besides your resume um, from these recruiters. Remember I said 87% of recruiters look at, good morning, thanks for joining, 87% of recruiters looked at the, look at your LinkedIn uh, profile. Okay, so make sure you have a profile picture. It doesn't have to be super professional. Don't make it like, you know, you got a can of beer or something in your hand but make sure you have a nice profile picture because if you have a profile picture, it's 14 times more likely to have page views, 14 times more likely. Also, those who have the skills, and I'm gonna show you, tell you guys where you can do the skills, okay? Those that have skills posted are 13 times more likely to have profile views. And LinkedIn has 45,000 skills to choose from. All right, so there's absolutely, good morning, thanks for joining. There's absolutely skills that you're gonna be able to find. Not only that, but I'm gonna show you where to go. And they also, what they do is, they give you suggestions according to your profile. So like when I go into my digital marketing and I put in skills, it comes up with all these suggestions, like do you know Google AdWords? Do you know this? Do you know that? You know, things like you may not have thought of, but LinkedIn knows that your competitors have these on their resumes. So this is what you should be having if you have the skills, okay? Um, if you guys go onto Facebook, uh, the ones who are on Instagram, you guys can look at this on our uh, Facebook private group, Stark Media Social Marketing Group, and you'll see what I'm doing. I'm bringing up the um, shared screen on Facebook, um, and I'm gonna show them. All right, over here, if you go to the jobs, which is on the top, it's like a little, it's like a little briefcase, and there's a more button, and when you hit that more button, 
it gives you skills assessment. So when I hit my Moore's button um, and they, it knows that I'm a digital marketer, things come up like search engine optimization, Google Analytics, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Excel. Like, do I have these skills? Am I proficient at these? If so, I should be putting these on my resume because this is what everybody else has that I'm competing with. Uh, that more button is like the best under jobs. That that gives you so much information. We're going to talk about that too. Okay. Next, um, so make sure that you put your skills. Um, and uh, like I said, under the more button, you can you can also under the more button you can set up the alerts, right? So if you're looking for a digital marketing position, you can set up the alerts for digital marketing positions within you know the New York area or wherever your metropolitan area is. Um, it also gives you competitive salaries for your position, so you know what to ask for and what people are getting. It also gives you how to prep for an interview. Like LinkedIn really helps you try to find a job. It's a great place to try to find a job. Um, and it also gives you a place to upload your resume and save your resume. Okay, so now when talking about your skills, you need to become comprehensive about your skills and your objectives. On your profile, okay, when you pull it up, like mine, it says Michelle Stark Hulse. After Michelle Stark Hulse, it says President Co founder at Stark Media Group. That's my headline. What some people are doing, and I'm gonna show this in the stream as well, here, that's my headline. What some people are doing, and this is really smart, is in the headline, instead of putting your position, they're putting what they're seeking, the position that they're seeking. So let people know the job that you're looking for, like writers seeking businesses in need of friendly ghost writer, you know, something like that. Like let them know instead of just like, hey, this is what I do. This is what I'm looking for. I mean, you can put both. You can put what you do and you can also put a headline as to what you're seeking to do. And that would go right underneath your name. So they're going to see it right away, right here. I have it on the Facebook. Also. Build your network by importing your uh, contact lists from um, other sites like Gmail. Because you want to be able to have lots of people you're connecting with. So once you put your connections on there, every time you upload, every time you share, every time you put a post or something, all those people are going to see it, right? And that the larger your network, uh, the better it is for your chances of finding a connection to find a job. It's networking on LinkedIn, right? Because we can't really go to networking events right now. The next thing you should be doing is you should be researching the companies that you want to work for. It's very easy to do that on LinkedIn in the search bar, okay? You can put in Google. You can. I just keep using digital marketer because that's what I am. You can put in Google. You can put in Facebook. You can put in all those um, all those uh, companies, and you can also look to see if they're hiring. You should be following them, and then this way, if a position becomes available, it's going to show up. Um, and you should be interacting with them and um, knowing all about the company. This is what's going to help you in your interview, knowing all about the company that you're um, that you want to work for. Also, the other thing is, is that, um, oh, what did I want to say? Uh, if you research the companies you're interested in and follow them, it not only helps you stay in the know about the company and the positions, but there could be somebody there that, uh, thanks for joining, somebody there that you know works there. There, should, there could be a connection, like a college connection. We're going to talk about the alumni search in a second. Um, so once you're ready to reach out to a company, um, ask your connections to make an introduction to someone that they're connected to within the company, right? I mean, that that's the best way to do it. People wanna hire people that they know. They wanna hire recommendations. It makes it a lot easier for them than to hire somebody that's not recommended. This is another great way, okay? I actually know some college students that have used this. They go to the alumni search. So it's linkedin.com backslash alumni. And you can do a search for your college or university, and it's a great way to connect to alumni who went to the same school as you. 
So what my niece did was when she was looking for a job at a, a particular company, she went to that company and she researched if there was anybody who graduated from her college at that company. And she actually found somebody in HR at that company and then reached out to them. And in doing that, secured herself an interview. I mean, because, I mean, it's just like that, you know, knowing somebody or having that alumni connection, just having some sort of connection. So that's a great way to do it. And that's linkedin.com backslash alumni. Um, also, if you have your college on your profile, like I do, things will come up or it might have a suggestion like, do you know this person? Do you want to connect with this person? Um, and because it's on my profile, the minute I go into linkedin.com backslash alumni, and I like to say, I put in like Google, um, anybody that went to, I went to Boston college, anybody that went to Boston college, it works at Google is going to come up right away. And then I can reach out to them. Um, the other thing is too, you need to be active on LinkedIn. Okay. Um, you need to be sharing articles, videos, updates, get involved in groups, interact with other, uh, LinkedIn groups. Um, good morning, Allie. Thanks so much. Um, get involved with groups, get involved, um, with, uh, post and interact in professional, um, articles that are related to your field. So people see that you're active and that you're contributing and that it's not just a stagnant, um, you just don't have a stagnant profile, but you're uh, not only interacting with things in your field, but you're also contributing to your field. And this way you get noticed and you're also building connections that way. Um, and lastly, when I say research the companies that you're interested in, one of the reasons you want to do that is because if you're looking, if you finally do get that interview and you get that interview with, you know, the your future boss or executive team, you'll be able to do, you'll be able to talk to them about things that they had on their LinkedIn and you'll be able to make that connection, whether it's their hobbies, whether it's their interests, whether it's their, whether it's their school, uh, their university, things like that. But it's a way to leverage the information during your interview. This shows you've done your homework. It shows that you're interested in them. Everybody likes it when you know something about them. Everybody likes it when you ask them personal questions. You know, it shows like you just didn't send that resume. It says, dear madam or sir, blah, blah, blah. I tell you right now, when we receive resumes, okay, and it just says to whom it may concern. All right, I get that if you don't want to. But if you don't put something in there like, um, I'm looking to work at Stark Media Group because, right? I want to see that personal connection. I want to see that you looked up our company. I want to see that you understand what our company does. I, I want to see that you've taken the time to write a personal cover letter to us. I get very annoyed when I just get those random, you know, to whom it may concern, oh, I'm looking for this position. You're just sending out to a bunch of people and you honestly don't care that you want to work for my company individually. I pretty much pass over you unless you have an unbelievable resume, but people who have an unbelievable resume are usually writing a personal cover letter. Take the time to write that personal cover letter. It doesn't take long and it makes a huge impression. All right, guys, I gave you a lot of tips today, right? It's going to be all these tips will be up on our private social media marketing group, which you can join Stark Media Social Marketing Group on Facebook. Um, if you have any questions today, uh, be sure to send them into info at StarkMediaNY.com. We hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, all of our videos are also on YouTube. I hope this is helpful. And you guys go on to LinkedIn because it really is an amazing source to find a job, um, to make connections, to be able to network. We love LinkedIn. We're on it all the time. And uh, thanks, Allie. And if you guys have any um, topics that you want us to cover, just send them in and we're happy to cover these topics for you. All right. Have a great day and stay well, everybody.